What is up YouTube? This is Melissa coming to you from the beautiful country roads of West Virginia, where here at this channel, we love all things plant and all things craft. So if you like planty things and crafty DIY type of things, you're in a good place. And if you're new here, don't worry, so am I. I don't have a clue what I'm doing. I don't have a mic. I don't have a fancy camera. So I just got off work today. <clears throat> And guess what I had? More purge mail. So I thought maybe you guys would want to open it up with me. So let's open it. Plant purges on Facebook pages are a lot of fun. You can get a lot of really great plants at really great prices. This particular seller um, has a greenhouse in New York. His pages are a great time. He's super cute, super precious. Um, the ladies just eat him up. They all want to tell him how cute he is and, and you know, they're not there just for the plants, you know, and some will come right out and say, they're like, Oh, I just dropped in to say, Hey, you are so cute. You are eye candy. Mm. And then the Karens jump in and they're like, I'm here to buy plants. Let's keep it to the plants. Quit hitting on this poor boy. Y'all are making me uncomfortable. You know, I just drink some beers or wine or whatever and enjoy the show. So, what did I order from here? Ooh. You always get a little card when you order from them. And, and I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you, and if I can't for some reason, then we'll edit it out. But it is the, the house plant company and, um, you know, they, this little card says, hey, thanks for your order. We are thrilled that you trusted us with the new addition to your plant family. If you have any issues, please contact us. We are happy to help. And you know, that's just nice. It's, it's a nice little picture. So this beautiful specimen, and it was super hot here today. It was like 90 some degrees. So I had my daughter, go down to the mailbox and get them out of there so they weren't in that heat for too long this is some really interesting fluffy stuff so this is a beautiful let me make sure it's the right one this is a silver sword there's something weird on that leaf i don't know what that is something funky something funky uh yeah so this is a silver sword. This is a philodendron silver sword. I've been into silver plants lately. I don't know why, but um, super cute little tiny plant. Um, hopefully it will grow into a big, beautiful plant. And um, time will tell, you know, time will tell. So it's nice, it's nice, nice in there. You know, looks good. Don't see any any issues, aerial roots. Looks good. So again, another successful plant purge. Now, he does carry a lot more rare plants during his purges. Um, you know, you've got gloriosums, you've got all kinds of different alocasias. It, it's, and it's just a good time, you know? It's just, um, he's entertaining and it's fun. It's fun if you're just at home sitting on the couch and you wanna watch somebody sell plants. It's even more fun if you have the money to buy these plants. Some of them, I just, I'm not, I'm not prepared to um, drop that kind of money on a plant yet, especially when I, I feel like I need to educate myself on the plant. So there's that one. This is a big old box. It's weird. It says, protect from heat. Yeah, protect from heat this side up handle with care holy smokes what is in this big old box read read do read the stuff hello youtube hello i'm just a big old baby i'm just a big old baby i'm just a big old baby okay y'all this box it is uh secure it is secure to say the least. So, 
This is a Skindapsis Trudii Moonlight. Yes, I got two of these. This has been um, a wish list plant of mine for a while. Um, where you've got a hold of some of the packing. I don't know. I mm, hold, please. So I'm back. Save the dog from a uh, choking on masking tape. Anyway, so I got two of these. Um, they are toxic to your kids and your plants, which maybe you want to feed them to your kids when they're getting on your nerves. <laughs> Just this is a public friendly service announcement. Don't, please don't feed toxic plants to anybody, you know, ever. Just put yourself in timeout, you know. You know, don't poison anyone. So, I'll be able to pop these together and a beautiful Trudii Moonlight. Anything that says Moonlight just sounds romantic. Don't mind my gray hair, you know. The hairstylist with the best hair usually ain't that busy. Remember that, okay? Um, yeah. So, this is a, is a, is a big, she big, she big, you know? She a big girl. I didn't know this plant was this big. Um, I got a really good deal on it. I, I will look up how much I spent on these because it wasn't it wasn't a lot. And holy smokes! So here is a very large, already beautifully very or um, variegated. Yeah, variegated. Ah. Oh. Gorgeous. This is a Monstera Borsagiana or something. Borsa, Borsagiana. I've not heard. Um, I've not heard of that a lot. Maybe, you know, I'm just not in the Cool Kids Club yet. But it is um, related to the Monstera Deliciosa, obviously. Uh, but man, the leaves. You know, people put their dogs in their purses when they like go to the mall. You think I could just carry this around the mall with me and be like, yeah. You wanna pet my cat? She's precious, she's so cute, she won't bite. Just kidding, I'm really not that crazy. But yeah, you guys, this thing is gorgeous. When these leaves, um, you know, have time to, look at the size of that leaf. You know. She's gorgeous. She's so gorgeous. She's so pretty. So yeah, I'm super excited about this. If only she was an Albo version, right? Oh yeah, but I think I would have paid more than whatever I paid for this. So there's my plant mail I got today. So my last video, if you did catch it and watch it, I ordered Lekka supplies. And um, what you're supposed to do is rinse it off and let it soak for at least 24 hours. Mine is soaking in the bowl. Let me grab it. So it's just soaking, soaking, soaking. Um, so, you know, this, I may, uh, pot something up. You know, maybe we'll pop something up here right in a minute. Pot, pot something up, not pop it up. Um, pot it up. So yeah, maybe, maybe we'll do that maybe with like a water propagation or something. Oh, well, speaking of water propagations, I wanted to show you this. Um, so I, you know, was plant purging and pink princess philodendrons sell for like a pretty penny. They're pretty popular right now. So I bought a reverted pink princess. It was only, I think $20 and I cut it up um, because I have, seen and heard that if you propagate them and and grow a couple new plants that you have the potential to revert re-revert the reverted pink princess back to pink so here's the little the little baby um you know she's got some little leaves on there 
we'll see what happens. But these are my propagations. I did stick the couple leaves that fell off in the water. I'm sure they'll rot. I mean, I don't think they're gonna do anything, but I just, I felt bad, you know, I felt bad. So here is one propagation. Um, there are, a, there's three leaves and a couple area roots on there. And then the other piece already had a root growing out of the stem, so, or the node. So, you know, it's, um, it's looking pretty good. And there is some slight variegation on there, you know. That would be my son watching YouTube. Uh, yeah, you know, like I said, we live here. This is not a TV set. Uh, we are not, we don't have a production crew. I, I can't have, I, I just, you know, this is real life. This is what it is. So, you know, we'll keep an eye on this. We'll keep an eye on this and see if we get any. I just taped a whole bunch of stuff that didn't record because my husband called and I declined his call because I'm doing this on my iPhone because I need to order a camera. I have a couple cameras. I have a video recorder. Maybe I should break those out and come to find out it was not recording. So basically what I <coughs> was trying to let you all know in the middle of my pink princess um, <coughs> I'm all shooketh. I'm shooketh. Basically, I was letting you know that I have <coughs> some other stuff that we could do together. I bought some t-shirts we can tie-dye. Yes, here are the t-shirts. It's fun. It's a good time. It's fun to do with your kids. It's fun to do. We have had tie-dye <coughs> parties where we make them for the kids. Read! Whoosh. He's barking at nothing. Nothing. Um, so, yeah. So I think we're gonna tie dye. I also, um, I have a vegetable garden. I grow, you know, it's not a huge garden, but it's, it's bigger than some, smaller than some. Um, the last couple years, I have been growing all of my own plants from seeds. So I have some fall crops started. Uh, so this is also something that we could do, you know, you guys can, uh, help me out or we can learn from each other as we go. So they need um, thinned out and potted up here soon because it's still gonna be too hot to plant them outside and my garden is do actually doing awesome. Maybe I'll take you out there and we'll do a tour. You guys can let me know what you're into, what you're not into, if if you like me, if you don't. Um, and I also have another thing I have to probably try to get done this evening and that is I gotta preserve all these beans. Um, there, there's a bug. There's a bug on this green bean. Yep, there's a bug. Almost looks like a tiny little ladybug. Oh, I'll just put you back. You know, maybe you can give me some tips. You can help me out. Maybe some of you, I'll teach you a little bit of something, but let's just have a good time. Let's have a good time. So anyway, I, I hope you are having a good day. I hope you are having a great day. If you're not, hopefully, Whatever is weighing heavy on your mind and your heart today will be much lighter in a few days or tomorrow. Sometimes you just gotta sleep on something and it's better. So I will see y'all later. Bye-bye.